Hi everyone. We all know that any economy cannot boost without a banking sector. And luckily at ITM Business School, we have Harish Madan who is a chartered accountant, FRM and an alumni of IIM Kozhikode. He worked with a very well known ICBC Bank which is a world renowned bank which is having a headquarter at China. Thank you so much uh, sir for coming to ITM Business School and you know agreed for a small interview. Yeah. So sir we have seen recently that our government in fact I'll say our RBI government has actually taken a hawkish economy approach where uh, they have increased 35 basis point do how do you feel that how banking will going to absorb this a uh, sudden shock or do you think that it was very much uh, pre planned thing which has happened in the economy uh, to be honest uh, 35 basis high was already expected in market was when it was coming so uh, rbi has delivered 35 basis uh, so uh, it is uh, it is very well uh, at expectations of the market uh, on the uh, banking side uh, i think uh, it was uh, already reflected in like after are it times there are certain sell off but the movement on 10 years yield was not much high uh, that is again uh, uh, reflections of uh, uh, the market has already priced in with the dollar we also when it started and move at at the, at the same level so it was almost like that okay. uh, this is something which uh, you know uh, many economists has actually uh, spoken the same language what you have spoken Uh, another thing where uh, you know one of the best thing which has happened in indian economy is if you see uh, the last quarter result banking has performed really well and npa has gone down don't you think that because of such thing our manufacturing will going to get boost and of course now the bank is sitting with a lot of cash so they can disperse more and more loan towards the manufacturing sector uh you right uh, one said is npa has been has been come down to the banking system where uh, from the past uh, the banking sector is sector, sector is working on cleaning up cleaning of the balance sheet so this is the result where we have seen uh, npas have come down uh, on the other hand banking profit has boost because we have seen the credit growth credit growth is almost like now uh, 70% uh which reflects the economy is growing in fact uh, if you uh, uh, read the like rbi governor's uh, uh, statement from in the last monetary policy where it is mentioned that our uh, capacity utilization is almost like us reach to 75% so which is in a better than the pandemic level uh, generally uh, what happens uh, whenever the capacity uh, utilization reaches around 75% we see new effects uh, uh, to kick start Uh, so we are hoping that uh, uh, now there would be a uh, new capex cycle which we can start uh, but there are certain risks uh, risks is with respect to global scenario where uh, the economy is expected to little slow down uh, but i am hopeful uh, that uh, uh, our economy it is uh, still now in strong resilient uh, to global factors uh, and to the So that is something where you still feel that India got a growth story, right? And uh, if you see right now, uh, we are little. If you see the global market, right, and if you compare it with Indian market, right, uh, many analysts, many economists feel that India still got a growth story, right? But then still there is little doubt on that how interest rate in the coming Feb, right? We have another uh, uh, policy declaration that time. Don't you think that during that time uh, we may actually again see a high period and that will going to backfire Indian economy? So, uh, interest rate hike uh, should not be looked at from the perspective of uh, uh, on the growth side, but also looked at from the perspective of inflation as well as the currency movement. Uh, so, US is raising interest rate and raising very aggressively. So in response to that, uh, emerging market uh, economies, not only emerging market economies, but uh, uh, economies across the globe, has to face up. Uh, if they, if uh, they not face up with, with the rate hike, uh, then you see a depreciation and also uh, outflow of capital from India. So that currency differential, interest rate differential between these currency has to be maintained. So the one answer to this is. Uh, uh, 
this interest rate hike should be looked at from the to a managed currency and second inflation is still higher it is uh, about the rpi uh, uh, M- mpc mandate which is given for uh, uh, a mandate of 4 to 6 percent so it is continuously uh, above uh, 6 percent though we have seen uh, uh, a down uh, this is also uh, because of uh, base effect but also we have seen the inflation is going because the uh, is uh, has uh, come off from the uh, uh, commodity uh, are, are also uh, being falling. So uh, I believe uh, in the uh, interest rate hike, uh, uh, some until uh, I think US is raising interest rate, RBI will uh, continue, to, uh, continue to be on the rate uh, hike trajectory, uh, but uh, may not be as aggressive as it was. So we would see a little softening. Uh, uh, I would say in a rate hike than what we have seen in the past. So one uh, one thing which has been observed uh, that of course we follow a very uh, developed economy and of course uh, if you see the correlation whenever US has increased the rate, right, Fed rate, of course the right, uh, repo rate has also gone up, right. Another best thing which uh, we have observed is that even though there was little uh, chocolate in the sector, but still, employment figure is really good in the US. Do you think that we should consider that as a positive sign and that we can expect that same thing you know, to happen in a country like India also? Uh, US, uh, I think there is a different indicator. Definitely, this uh, uh, job growth is still high, and I think that one thing also need to look at the labor participation in the US. Uh, but if we, as far as uh, from uh, India perspective, India is a young economy and it needs to create more job opportunities uh, to absorb the kind of uh, 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 supply that we are creating. So for India, even I, I believe uh, India needs to grow higher if it wants to absorb the, the new labor force which is coming in the market. Uh, 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 this year, uh, though the projection is to grow, grow around 7%, uh, I believe the government is taking many initiatives, especially from the uh, uh, manufacturing sector. Uh, this would uh, further help to, uh, to create a more job uh, uh, in this space. So, do you feel, sir, that uh, global banks will going to uh, participate more in the Indian economy and they will going to pour more and more funding? Uh, Indian economy, so that uh, you know, is that they will going to participate more than say. Of course, there are many banks who have entered Indian market, foreign banks. But do you think that the scope will be more for global bank to do business with Indian business community? No, definitely. As the economy will grow, more and more banks, businesses want to interact with, with the Indian economy, and that is where we will, we will see more participation from the global financial institutions and governments that are shop in India. So we see a very good prospect. Uh, good prospect. Along with that, there is another uh, chain. So as uh, the India manufacturing sector will grow, India's uh, trade share in the global market will increase, then we will see more participation from global banks. So as a banker, one sector in India in which you are very much bullish. I think India is a is a very good growth story. If you look at, I would not look at it as a one sector, but it, it just give you a theme. Where India uh, 138 uh, 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 crore, uh, 1.38 billion uh, people which are there in the market and the uh, uh, size of the demography, and uh, out of this 67 percent is working age population. Uh, so the very first thing is as uh, they are they are they are they have aspirations. Uh, they have aspiration to uh, for high quality products, so definitely as their income will increase, uh, what they are going to do is conversions. Uh, so one uh, and another would be uh, they would be looking at uh, measures, so the tracking sector. So if you look at from that a sector is now digitalization, everywhere there is a digitalization. So uh, uh, so, uh, and then there is more awareness about uh, uh, health, safety. So, these are all related to, to the demography structure. So, as we become a uh, uh, high income economy, now we are a uh, middle, uh, low income economy around $2,000 per income, as a per income growth. So, we want to move up the hierarchy around consumption, 
includes our aspirations, uh, uh, that includes our ways. So that is how you see that reflect in the economy. So any advice to uh, you know young uh, MBA student who want to make career in uh, banking sector? What kind of skill set they should see, uh, you know, learn so that they can enter into a banking sector and do really good and participate in the growth story of our Indian economy? Uh, I think the only thing is what uh, first they should uh, uh, believe in themselves and. Uh, uh, now, banking sector is also evolving. There is going a lot of digitalization things which are going around. Uh, so, I think uh, now uh, technology is very prominent along with the, uh, the banking. Uh, what we were looking at earlier, now the way the banking is happening is changing. So, I think they have to come up and learn the new way of banking, which they are very much adept. They are very much adept with the technologies. So, that is how the banking is going to change. So thank you so much sir for all your uh, insight on uh, you know Indian economy, global economy and uh, advice to our uh, young MBA students and what how they what kind of skill set they should adopt so that they can improve in the banking sector. Thank you once again for joining uh, for this. Thank you so much.